stride. And uh, you, you're here to tell us that um, you're doing good. You're doing good for pensioners. In what way? Well, we believe that pensioners uh, really matter and uh, winter, it is a tough time as the temperatures drop. It's absolutely freezing out here this morning. So what we've provided is an enhanced winter fuel payment, which would be five to six hundred pounds for pensioner households. So that's eight million pensioner households uh, that have received that uh, because we think it's important to uh, look after our pensioners at what is a, sometimes a joyous time of year but also can be uh, a more expensive time of year and of course that's on top of the 8.5% uh, increase uh, and the respecting the triple lock that will come in on the state pension uh, as of April of next year. Well, Mel Stride, great to hear uh, that you really want to support pensioners this winter, especially as we speak to you uh, on the 26th day of strike action by junior doctors. And Age UK uh, have raised fears this morning, uh, saying they're concerned that hospitals are going to find it extremely difficult to take care of the elderly and keep them safe this Christmas. I mean, that's a great concern, isn't it, uh, for the elderly and the pensioners in our country. Uh, what's happening with these these talks between the new health minister and the BMA? Well, I, Why I, has I, there not been a resolution? Yeah, I mean... I so I, I, I think it's deeply disappointing that the doctors have walked away uh, from these talks. We've managed to secure pay settlements now really pretty much right across the rest of the public sector and including agreements uh, within the NHS and other staff that are being put out uh, to ballots. Uh, as you all know, the junior doctors have been holding out for a 35 per cent pay increase. I think that was always going to be uh, extraordinarily unrealistic and I think you know what we are calling on the doctors to do now is to come back round the table so that we can uh, hammer out some kind of agreement now we've already got uh, a pay offer of between 8 and about 10 percent on the table we're talking about uh, conditions and moving on to that part of the negotiation um, but we really do need them around the table because as you say this is going to be a very difficult time now that's not to say we haven't geared up for making sure that we can best handle those pressures <coughs> across the uh, Christmas and uh, new year. We've got uh, 900 new hospital beds that we've invested in, so the 250 million that's gone on to that to ease the winter uh, pressures. We've got 10,000 virtual beds that we've already brought into place to help ease pressures as well. But this is going to be a difficult time. It's unnecessary and the doctors really should be sitting around the table and negotiating. Uh, how far will you go? You say you've got negotiations on the table between 8 and 10 per cent. What do you think it'll take? 12 per cent, 13 per cent, 15 per cent? Well, <laughs> I, I'm t tempted though I am to start speculating on that. I, I, I don't think that would be right. These are negotiations that are really being uh, held elsewhere and I'm not uh, a party to the uh, intricate ins and outs of them. But I think the principle here is really important um, that we're going to go into a period now when the NHS is under its most acute pressure as temperatures drop over that Christmas period. Um, and this really is a vital time now for this almost one remaining part of the public sector, the outlier, if you like, to come back to the table and do this deal. We've achieved this right across the public sector now. And it's really just these junior doctors that are holding out to really the detriment of, um, you know, as you say, elderly people, many people who will uh, unfortunately suffer as a consequence. Well, you're here to talk about elderly people and vulnerable people and we talk about these winter fuel payments and uh, the cost of living uh, for these pensioners. Just to put people's minds at ease, how do they qualify uh, for the, the payments and uh, is anyone ruled out on, on a... Um, what do they call it? Means tested basis. No, it's not means tested. And 99% of the payments that are due to have been made have now been made. So if you are a pensioner in receipt of the state pension, check your bank account. You'll see it's a BAX transfer payment. Uh, it will have uh, a code next to it, which is DWP. Uh, and then uh, the uh, fuel winter fuel payment uh, WP uh, next to it. Um, so really look out for that. And it'll be between five and six hundred pounds 
uh, per household. So it's entirely uh, automatic. If you haven't heard as a pensioner, by the 26th of January, if you think you're entitled and you haven't heard, then go on to .gov.uk and look at the information there or phone up the Winter Fuel Payment uh, Centre and have a chat with them. But all, the vast majority of people will receive this money absolutely automatically. Mel Stride, appreciate your take. Uh, compliments of the season to you. And uh, thank you very much indeed. Mel Stride's the Secretary of State for Work and Pensions. And uh, Go inside and get warm. Have a nice cup of